hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we will learn how to create a custom checkbox with animation as you can see on my computer screen here i have added multiple checkbox and when we click on anyone it will add the check icon here with smooth animation and when we click again it will hide the check icon and it will be unchecked we will create this custom checkbox in less than 10 minutes using HTML and CSS. So before starting this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe my channel. Now let's start the video. Here I have this folder and in this folder I have one HTML file, one CSS file. Let me open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the basic HTML structure and this one is the CSS file. In this HTML file, here I have added this link tag that will connect the html and css file next we will add the code within this body tag so here let's create one div with the class name hero now we will add this class name here in the css file and for this one we will add the width and height then we will add the background color after that we will add the color that will be the text color and here we will add the display flex align items and justify content center so that all the contents will be in the center now we will open this web page so you can see this dark color on the complete web page. After that let's come back and within this div we will create one div with the class name container and let's add the CSS for this container. Here we will add the width 450 pixel then padding of 25 pixel then we will add the border of 2 pixel solid white color. Then we will add the border radius of 15 pixel. Let me change it, it will be border. You can see this box here on the web page. Now just come back and within this container, let's create one div with the class name row and in this row we will add the p tag and here we will add the text notification. Then we will add one label tag and within this label we will add the input and input type will be checkbox and here we will add checked equal to checked. After that come back to the website you can see this text notification and one small checkbox. After that let's come back and we will add this class name here that is row and for this class name we will add display flex. So the text and checkbox will be side by side then we will add align items justify content and then we will add some margin. Here we will increase the font size. You can see text here and the checkbox in the right side. Now just come back and here we have the label, so write this label tag here, here we will add the position relative, width will be 50 pixel and height also 50 pixel, so it will be a square. Next we will add the input and for this input we will add width and height 100%. Then we will add the position absolute. After that you can see increased size for this checkbox. Now just come back. After this input we will add one span tag. We will design this a span as a checkbox. So let's come back and here we will add level and span. In this span we will add display block. Width will be 100% and height also 100%. Then we will add the position absolute. Border will be 3 pixel, solid and white color. Then we will add the border radius of 6 pixel and cursor will be pointer. After that it will be a square block in white color. Now we will hide the default checkbox. So in this input we will add opacity 0. So it will be hidden. You can see we have a square here in white color. Now we will add some space in the right side. So in this container we will change the padding. It will be 25 pixel then 40 pixel then 25 and 25 so the right side is 40 pixel you can see some space here now we will come back and uh, within this span we have to create one check mark so here we will add label span after that is pseudo element here we will add content empty position will be absolute left 24 pixel and bottom 10 pixel then we have to add the width and height so we will add the width of 20 pixel and height 40 pixel next we have to add the border so the border will be solid 
and this color code. You can see this green color of box because we have added the border. Now we will add the border width. So the border width will be different in left side, right side, top and bottom. So here we will add 0, 6 pixel, 6 pixel and again 0. After that we will come back and you can see border at the bottom and right side. Now we will rotate it. So we will add transform rotate, rotate by 45 degree. Now it is looking like a check icon. So right now it is displaying by default. So here we will add opacity 0. So it will be hidden. When we will click on the checkbox, it will be checked and it will display the check icon. So now come back and here we will add input colon checked and a span after. Here we will copy this one width and height and let's make it zero. So initially it will be zero and when we will click it will be 20 pixel and 40 pixel and opacity will be one. Now you can see if I click here it is displaying the check icon. Now just come back and here we will add the transition width 0 0.5 seconds and height also 0 0.5 seconds. So you will see some smooth transition in the check icon. We will add the opacity also. So here you can see if I click this check icon is displaying with smooth animation. Now we will come back to the HTML file and just duplicate this complete row. And then we will update the text. After that, in the first one, let me remove this checked. Now come back to the website and you can see all the checkbox are checked and the first one is unchecked. And if I click here, it will be checked. So you can see this custom checkbox is looking very good and it is working fine. So I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.